Yeah, I was thinking about taking my little boy out there. My six-year-old has been hounding me. What are we going fishing? Might Do be it. this weekend. <laughs> You know, the Summer Olympics are coming up, and although they don't do any fishing, one of the sports that's always fascinated me was the diving, the high diving thing. So I thought, how hard can it be? You're just jumping into water. Boy, did I get an education in this week's Texas Outdoors. Divers make it look so effortless, but believe me, it's really, really hard. It didn't get much better for me the rest of the day. I almost got around. Yes even though I had a coach with a bunch of national champions under his belt. It's just north of 25. Push. Stan Randall has been a dive coach for almost 50 years and says he can't imagine doing anything else. Up. Watching the kids from scratch win a national title or a world title, or uh, it, it's just when you remember how they started and uh, they made it all the way up. Right now, one of those kids is 11-year-old Elise Cross. When I first went on the diving board, I was really scared. Uh, like, not that scared, but I kept on falling off. There's not a lot of fear in her now. She can do a front one and a half as well as just about anybody. So Randall thought he'd have her show me what to do. And it starts long before you get on the board. You don't want any space between arms and ears. Well. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's okay. never going to happen. Right, right. right. <laughs> you apparently have to be very flexible to be a good diver. And it didn't get any easier. As best as you can get to that position, show me that. That's not going to happen. Well, uh, <laughs> show, show me something like it. I was worn out from just trying to get into the right position. Then we had to hit the water in a straight line. Just pretend there's this $100 bill down there, and it's yours if you pick it up. Or why don't you just put one down there, and I'll go get it. OK. <laughs> How about a five? <laughs> it wasn't better when I hit the water. Although I did go the 13 feet and touch the bottom. So we did that several more times. And then I don't know if Stan lost his mind or I did. But we moved to the three meter board. And it got real ugly real quick. <laughs> if you tuck a little bit tighter, yeah. well, a lot tighter. A lot tighter. We can add another half a somersault to it. After a couple more of those, Stan decided maybe if he put me in a harness, I could hit the water a little better. I want you to hold the back of the belt for me, just like that. OK. You might need a little bigger one. Uh, they don't make them any bigger. <laughs> Darn the luck. Um, I decided maybe it'd be better if I just watched Stan train at least. Tight tuck, two and a half, out of my call, take it to the bottom. Look. She seemed to grasp the concept a little better than I did. Sometimes I'm in the bottom of the pool and I'm coming up and I'm like, yes, I did it so well. But other times like, ugh. I didn't see too many of those ugh moments, except of course when I was trying. So I think we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> they have folks that dive until they're 90 years old, so age really is not a matter. If you want to check out Alamo Area Aquatics, we're going to put a link to their story, uh, the story on our website, kins5.com. And hey, we'll jump into anything, you know, email me, bdavis at kins5.com, or hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. Go on an adventure with me into the great Texas outdoors. What do you guys think? Do I, am, am I Olympic material? Uh you need a little more work. <laughs> but no, very. I'm impressed, though, doing those yeah. flips like that. No, I think that's really impressive. I have Absolutely. to be honest. I, I think I had a little inner ear infection. I got so motion sick doing the flips. Oh, no. Uh, I had to stop. I wanted to do the rope thing so I could actually do it, but I'm not kidding you. I got. I had to sit down and tell him, you know, I'm, uh, I'm done. No, wow. you're a trooper. I yeah. was impressed. <laughs> Those athletes are so good at it, and they make it look, like you said, effortless. Oh, yeah, and the, the little 11-year-old, Elise, is, she's got a bright future. Yeah, awesome. real quick, I used to lifeguard when I was at UT at the Texas Swim Center. Right. One year, they had the national championship, the Big 12 championship there, and I remember feeling ridiculous lifeguarding. I thought any one of these people <sighs> could totally kick my butt in the pool. Like, what? why am I even up here? Well, they're so. going to save you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Can you save me from the lifeguard, Sanya. <laughs>